Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Melissa. I like to be a fly on the wall. I like to buzz through the blinds of the energy on my mind. And right now I want to look at current energy with Chantal. It's a general reading. It's for entertainment only. I just did a video yesterday on her, so if you're interested, check it out. But I just want to see what's going on today. It's a new day. Let's see what the energy is. And... I have some questions. So, like I said, it's a general reading. It's for entertainment only. But let's ask some questions and see what the cards have to say. And if you're not already and you want to support what I do here, please consider subscribing. Thank you guys. Love you. Buzz me through the blinds of Chantal's mind. Bzz, me in, please. Show me current energy. What's going on in her energy currently? So, the Tower, Eight of Wands, Wheel of Fortune. Um, she could feel like, what do you guys want from me? You know I'm a hot mess. You know I'm broken. You know. You know I'm mental. Oh my god. Uh, this came out of nowhere. I wasn't planning this. Yeah, I spoke out of my face. Yeah, uh, I spoke without thinking before saying what I was saying. It's what it is. It can't be changed now. Oh, uh, you idiot. I will say, being that I lost my parents to the big C's, and also, that, that hurricane comment, what are you, stupid? I'm in Central Florida, you dingbat. I sat here in that. I, I had neighboring communities that were underwater. What the hell is wrong with you? All right, anyway. So, yeah, she's a hot mess. She knows she's a hot mess. Uh, she knows she spoke out of her face. She knows she she's talking without thinking about what she's going to say. And now she has... Uh, It's fate, it's destiny, um, it can't be changed, but you, when the wheel of life is spinning and turning, cannot control that wheel, but you have to control yourself, and I don't think she's learned that at all. So, show me why this tower is here. So, this King of Cup and this Four of Cup. Now, this could have to do with either one of three things, or all three things. Either she got extra triggered that day and spoke out of her face because Salah wasn't there. Was he there when that was happening? Initially. Because I don't know if... Mm, she could have been already in some sort of stupid headspace. Because she had some, some some sort of something with Salah. Where he wasn't there. Or this could have to do with Nader. The person, you know, that didn't want the love that was offered in the past. Or the father. Her father. All right, she could have just started being, you know, her her inner turmoil things she hasn't faced, reasons why she should go to therapy to begin with, kind of stuff. Um, Eight of Wands. Let's clarify that. Eight of Wands. All right. So again, this Ten of Cup, Ten of Sword, running the mouth, um, trying to, sh you know shield it or use the reasoning that I'm protecting my family and my loved ones Salah's family tree which by the way um, I'm pretty sure if you have someone's name you can go to any sort of like family tree ancestry type of thing and search names and see I'm, I, correct me if I'm wrong um, 
Anyway. Yeah, you, oh, everyone trying to betray me. Everyone trying to out my family. Talk about my family and my family. Blah. All right. Just clarifying what these cards, you know. So, and this Wheel of Fortune. Let's clarify that. Yeah, all right, the Emperor, that's her, that's her, the Aries energy. Sitting there in her seat, still eyes as dead as, as can be. No soul in the, behind those eyes. Uh, saying now to herself, so what I said here, right, the wheel, it's the wheel of fortune. The wheel of life, it spins, it turns, we can't control what's happening out there. The other people, the reaction channels. We have to control how we react. So now she's sitting there having her ricey beef dinner, acting like like nothing happened. Or like, you know, I'm in control now. I was just having a bad I was just having a bad day. You guys know I'm I have issues. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Salah probably went out after all this to party with his friends. Uh yeah. Left her alone, sitting there to make her beefy rice with her hot sauce. Yeah. Alright. I'm kind of curious. Since everyone's talking about everybody's mothers and fathers and stuff. What does her, her mother feel about this? What does her mother, oh, what does her mother feel about her, you know? Again, it's a general reading for entertainment only. What is, um, Foodie's mother feeling about this? Or should I, eh, we'll go back, we'll go back to Sola. Sola, I already know he, what he was feeling. Boobies, or something in the red room, going out, partying, to get away from her. Well, she made her beefy rice. Show me, please. Let's buzz through the blinds of, I don't know her name, Chantal's mother's mind. What is Chantal's mother feeling about Chantal? Gen and, you know, overall energy. Oh, overall energy. When I saw this, even though it sounds weird, this is what I felt. Like, the first thing I felt was, like, the mother thinks... If only Chantal had met a nice boy and got married when she was younger, her choices wouldn't be so limited. <laughs> uh, and she wouldn't be sitting at home basically stalking reaction channels. Um, <laughs> or if Chantal had found God through this uh, conversion, whatever, you know, like, made better choices, or, you know, actually did embrace, maybe, and study some of this faith that she says she is so devout to and whatever. You know, maybe she wouldn't be so defensive. Maybe she could, could see things more clearly, make better choices. Or she might have been saying to her daughter, are you actually married to this man, Salah? Are you guys actually married? Are you bringing him home to Canada? She may have expressed to her mother that that was, like, part of their plan. They may have talked about that recently. Yeah, alright, alright. I don't know, I'm just telling you what I feel. Um, first thing, though, we saw was this, which is the Eight of Wands. So, I would say that the mother definitely recognizes that Chantal, her mouth is like a machine gun... Going off with like bullets of caca, <laughs> like she can't, she can't stop spewing from her mouth. She might have expressed to her daughter, "You need to like think before you speak. You're not thinking before you're speaking." And if Chantal responded by, "But mom, people are treating me like mom," the mother might have been like, "Yes, Chantal, but it's not. You have to at some point." Recognize what's coming out of your mouth. Think before you speak. Think before you speak. Eight of Pentacles. These all kind of came out to the side. 
the Eight of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, King of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, Death. So the mother could feel, I don't know if she verbalized this to Chantal, but what she could be feeling, again, general reading for entertainment only, this Eight of Pentacles. This is what we work on. This is what we put energy into, time. We have this King of Pentacles, which I usually associate with a father energy. And I'm feeling like here it could be representing the male energy that Chantal's mother was with to create what we now call Chantal. Thanks, guys, so much. I can't thank you enough for that gift. And then we have this King of Wands. I'm feeling like this is Handsome's husband. Or this could also represent Nader, just the masculine energies that Chantal is physically drawn to, or has been. And this Queen of Pentacles, I associate this energy with the mother energy. When I see it like this, I really feel like the mother feels some sort of um, responsibility, maybe even some sort of guilt for how Chantal has turned out. Like, she could recognize that the the masculine energies that Chantal is attracted to go back to how Chantal feels or was treated by the birth father, okay? Because it's like, to me, this is like the mother and father, and between them is this energy that I'm seeing as the energies that, you know, Chantal, you know, wants their wands or is attracted to. Or has been throughout her. <laughs> throughout. Um, the mother could feel like Chantal, if she doesn't take some sort of control of herself or situations or how she reacts to things, that it's gonna, it's gonna be the end of her. Like, the stress, you know, that she puts on herself, or um, the anger, or just the inability to control herself with her, with everything, okay? All of it. You know? The mother can actually sit and sometimes think, like, like, uh, you know, Chantal's not gonna be around for a long time. Um, and I actually, oh, I just had, <laughs> I saw something. But I don't think I should... Uh, I don't want to say it in the... Co she could sometimes wonder... Like... To, uh, she could actually feel like... Um, Chantal... The way she's behaving... In general, or throughout her life... That deep down Chantal doesn't want to be here. You know? Like she wishes... She may... I don't know if Chantal's ever said this to her mother... But I just felt it. Again, general reading for entertainment only. She may have said to her mother, or she might use this as something to guilt trip the mother, where she says things like, like, you you didn't even want me, all right? Like, I wasn't planned, Wheel of Fortune, you know. Um, she could say to her mother, like, I wish I was never born kind of thing. Uh, I just felt it, so I said it. I don't know. Anyway. General reading for entertainment only.